I'm Andrew Goddard, and this is the weekly volatility roundup from CMC Connect. There was no shortage of activity at the stock specific level last week. Facebook's parent company Meta saw its shares being pushed into focus after their Q4 earnings release included news of a maiden dividend as well as a $50 billion share buyback. The underlying added 20% on Friday alone, a move typically more in line with a less liquid small cap stock pushing one-week volatility to 54.9% against 41.11% over three months. Advanced Micro Devices was another big tech stock in focus last week. Earnings news received a somewhat tepid response from the market, despite bullish calls from the company regarding the outlook for AI chips, leaving the underlying to sell off by as much as 10%. However, the bulk of those losses have since been recovered, with one-week volatility standing at 83.27% against 63.42% for three months. Despite the ongoing geopolitical situation in the Middle East, oil prices spent last week trending lower, with US interest rates set to remain stubbornly high. This appears to be denting hopes that an uptick in consumption will be seen anytime soon. West Texas Intermediate moved down to levels not seen in two and a half weeks, moving one-week volatility out to 39.27% against 34.5% for three months. Price action on refined oil products was even more elevated, with one-week volatility on gasoline standing at 43.6% against 33.81% for three months. Cryptocurrency volatility remains incredibly subdued, but fiat currencies showed more life, with dollar Swiss being the most active trade. The pair had experienced some selling pressure earlier in the week, but again the significant overshoot in the non-farm payroll reading was sufficient to drive meaningful support for the greenback. One-week volatility stood at 10.86% against 8.74% on three months.